and welcome to Teresa Craft Shack. So today we are going to start on a sewing journal and this is just a little sneak peek of what we're doing today. I hope you join me. This is how I store my kits, like I put them together. Um, use that for a different, this is the cover I wanted to use and I have this old pattern and I got this kit from this person. I will link it down below for you. Um, the ephemera pieces I cut on cardstock. And the other ones I cut on paper like that. But I will be adding other um, paper to it. But I thought these were really pretty. Oh my gosh, did I print upside down? No, okay. <laughs> I did them um, double-sided. So I thought today we would work on the cover and I would show you this beautiful kit. I hope everyone is doing great. Um, I'm sorry I have been MIA. We um, dealing with migraines and seeing specialists for said migraines and yeah, not fun. But I'll do what I can. <laughs> Here we go. All right. So this has a bunch of, I'm going to use these as some of the pages. I thought that'd be fun. And I'll probably use this as collages and ephemera and stuff like that. So, set that aside. And this is kind of brittle. It's old, so it should be brittle, right? So what I'm going to do is start, I've never, I'm just, never really done this before, but that's okay. I'm not taking apart a pattern. So this is a very, like, ripping and stuff. So what I think I might do is, um, we're still going to use that, but I have this fabric and I think I'm going to put this on the outside. And Let's get this adhered. And so this is just a um, tacky glue with water. I'm just going to smooth it down. And then we're going to trim these sides because they're a little long. We don't need them that long. So here is this part, and we're gonna let this dry, and then I'm gonna actually sew, um, sew it. So this will be a simple one signature. P. 
piece. Um, Okay, so now all I'm gonna do is sew around the edges and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just surged around the edges of them and it's a little wonky, which works just fine for what we're doing. But I'm liking how that looks. I'm just gonna give this a good fold. Now we just need to decorate the front and this inside. Well, I think I might put, I don't know, some lace. I think lace would look good on the inside of this. So they very simple. Is there blue in this? Yeah, there is. Okay. We are going to use this blue and just put a little trim. And that will actually help with those little edges. Um, I'm gonna tear of the, how old this is. Do the other side. I'm really liking how this is turning out. Okay, so I found this, and um, this is my mom. She letting me use some of her lace and trims. Wondering if we put a little right there. That might look cute. Uh, look at this one. This is really pretty too. Give me some bigger. Let's grab some of this and some of this. Okay, now we'll put this back in. Here we go. Okay, now I'm going to look at the, I want to do the cover. I think I got this off of Amazon. But Put 
to this. This used to go like right under there. It's just a little bit sticking out. I just not want to lay flat. <laughs> there we go. Okay, I think we are almost done. So I am going to. I don't need to I'm going to trim that right there. We're going to put a line right here. And stick this on. Now, if you don't want to distress it, you don't have to distress it. I'm not doing that with this one. We're going to go right there. There we go. So we have our cover done, our front decorated. I might add some stuff right in here. I don't know yet, but there we go. This looks great. <laughs> if you like this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and think of subscribing. I really appreciate it. Um, and stay tuned for the next one. Um, we will be putting in the pages. So thank you for joining me. You guys are important. Bye.